Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episodes 10 and 11 of Descending Stories. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. This is where it starts. Right. Damn, I feel bad for him. Because now he's got to go back home and be a failure at home. Really, but at the same time, he has no home to go to. Oh, that sucks. No, his problem. But maybe you, with a little more practice. Hmm. 
We're not going to talk about the fact that he is sweating like a mug or anything. Look at him. That wasn't supposed to happen, was it? I mean, we all know that, right? There's something clearly wrong with him. He needs to go to a hospital. He's having a heart attack? Things that are running through my head right now, like with this music, it's not good. You can't do that. I didn't just say anything. Talk like that. Not only that, but sometimes, you know, what do we, the child, do after our parents are gone, even though he's not your earlier kid? But you are like his father figure in a way. Of course, rather than you. But the thing is, he, he did the same thing with Shin. He he slowly but surely started favoring Shin. And then Kuku came in and just overtook him. And now we're at this situation where he's like, I want to give my name to Kiku rather than Shin. And then, of course, we all know what happened. He got mad. Be threatened him, almost hit him and stuff, and yeah.
down. Yeah. What do I feel like he just took his last breath right there? Go. You can go peacefully. Huh. <sighs> we all knew what's gonna happen though. I just thought this would have came like next week and not in these two episodes. God hurts. And I'm guessing we're not going to even see Shin in this whole episode, are we? <laughs> I think that's how any child of a parent feels you know once your your parents are gone when you are truly alone in the world and you don't have your family really more your parents to always be there when something bad happens it is, it's a little hard for us and such that in the end you're struggling all on your own son I'm not flicking y'all off and just rubbing my eye. <laughs> of course.
How the fuck are you supposed to do that, though? I, I still think he's gonna fail, right? Holy shit. The beautiful performance, though. The fact that he is also sweaty, but not as sweaty as his former master, but like, God, it just makes me think and wonder, is he possibly going to have a heart attack just as much as his master did? I get that. It's a lot to burden. Excuse me. Say it again. Say it again. And I still can't even believe that. Well, I think we found Shin.
Oh yeah, that is his child. All right, let's talk about this real quick. All right, now one, having the master pass away, we we know and we knew this was going to happen. It's just a little more devastating to see it in this episode. Like I said, I was expecting it more to happen in like the next two. So both 12 and 13 to end the first half of the show. And then with episode 13, that would conclude everything and then we would go forward in time again to present modern day and such while you know Shin's daughter and the guy from the first episode are older now and they're both being under the eye of Kiku and such and then plus that one of the two whose names that I don't remember now th this was a very once again tragic episode not only the master dying but um what's his the the guy who was basically caring taking care of not only Kiku and the master but his wife also passing away as well and then having to have Kiku go on this journey by himself and dealing with the aftermath of once again Shin's mess with uh Miyu and such now that they both have a kid together which going into last week I'm like yeah like something tells me this is gonna happen and you know we're forcing these two characters who both really care about Kiku one is truly in love with Kiku and you know the other is a you know frenemy friend and but when it comes to Rakugo enemies but they still like to encourage each other and stuff but because they both lost something out of him they both came to each other's aid and of course slept together and such and they're like yeah let's just continue this and see where it goes and maybe these two don't really care about each other but they have a kid now and so it's like okay we have to take care of this whole family that we have so yeah let's just take this money and get the hell out of here and just start a new somewhere else and so now he is teaching his you know offspring um the same things of what he was taught when he was younger also now learning about the master's situation of very much the same story between um him and his former colleague and such like that really hurt. Was not expecting that. But like I said, it, it's very similar to, you know, Shins and Kiku's, except it's different at the same time. And we all know how this is going to end with Shin dying. So at least with the three episodes that I do have left, number one, we have to see him die, of course. So he has to at least die between 12 and 13 by next week. But for an episode, this was really good. I mean, I hate the fact that Shin is going to find out next in this next episode that the master is dead and that um Kiku had to make his way out to come see him and to possibly bring him back and such but I don't think Shin is going to really respond to that like of course he he even though him and the master left on the wrong foot I feel like he's not going to make an emotional impact he's not gonna cry or anything he might just say like good riddance and then you know Kiku might be like well how dare you you know the master was here for the both of us during our times and needs and everything and they might have this argument we'd be like well he was here for you Kiku but for me as Shin no he was never truly there and such who really knows a lot of emotional moments might happen in this next episode but of course I have to see in a minute but go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 11 Alrighty, episode 11 in 3, 2, 1, go. Right? I mean, damn. Your mom and dad ain't feeding you. Where the heck you going, child? Mm -mm. Oh, 
I mean, damn, he's still handsome. <laughs> uh, now you want to be nice. <laughs> right? <laughs> Because why? Typically everyone has moved on. They have TV and everything. Oh. would have thought she would have left her own kid too I mean damn because in my opinion I thought it would be the other way around I thought Shin would have been like the deadbeat person and to leave the relationship Exactly what you got. I don't think so. Is right?
And don't you want something that's better than this, especially for your child? Mm -hmm. A friend that you still care about. Oh, a lot! I mean, you have to be. They just look like a cute little family.
It's almost like freedom for you, babe. You don't need to work, you baby. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope I mean, damn, girl. You're always going to need your mom. Yeah, maybe ask when you're a little bit older. Maybe getting the dang coconut head haircut. Like, ooh. All right, well, that and a little bit of a bob, kind of. But, oh, baby. It, it's cute. It suits her. There you go. You look cute. Mm-hmm.
Damn, that sucks. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. And to think this little girl, when she get older, is going to hate the shit out of Bond. Mm -hmm. Give her a better life that you want for yourself.
Not only that, but... Yes! But see, he ain't come for you. <laughs> I mean, he really came more for your husband. And now your daughter. But not really you. I mean, because, yeah, at first you really would think, yes, he's going to come back. To save her but it's not like that it's about number one yeah getting kind of getting both of them or really now all three of them to come back um but also the money issue because she stole a lot of fucking money for her and him to start their new life and it, it's not as glamorous as i think either one of them would have wanted for and hoped for i think a lot of us in life when we're kids, um, <laughs> we all have that dream of, yes, I cannot wait to be an adult, and I can't wait to be this, this, that, and the third, and to have my own, and to do whatever, but then when you are in that adult role now, and you are away from your parents, or your parents are no longer here, and that protection that you have, it's a lot harder to get that. And sometimes that's when you see a lot of people break down. I mean, truly, in these in these two episodes in a nutshell, we've had them both break down in different ways. And fucking hits. Jesus Christ. Yeah, hold on. Wait, no, 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 no. You can't do that bullshit. What the fuck was that ending? Who the fuck ends a preview like that? Is that going to be him dying? Because, it, you know, it looks like Kiku's hand and Bond's hand, but Kiku's hand is very dainty like a woman, so that it also could be Mew's hand. Who the fuck hand is that? You can't do that bullshit. That's, no. No. No, no. But truly, yeah, these these last two episodes, I mean Getting closer, excuse me. Um to the end of this show or to the end of this first half, once again, you got the depressing moments, just like how I've said with um Bandari it's Michael and how it's an interesting take to see a sad story and such, even though you know by the end of it, it's going to be a true happy ending. And with, I think, the first half of this, we are not going to see that happy ending. We're not going to see that true happy ending until we finish the whole damn, this damn series and such. But <sighs> next week's going to hurt. And I think next week's going to hurt a lot. And I don't know if I'm ready to see this. <laughs> Let's just say that I absolutely don't think I'm ready. But seeing these two perform together again in front of Shin's daughter and such, like, it's really sweet. I mean, I love the fact that at first Bond did something himself, and then eventually he comes in and just helps Bond a little bit, and it was very nice for Shin to do that. But then it's just, like, right there, you need to realize, like, yes, this is your calling that this is what you need to do instead of being here at a dead-end job, never knowing when, you know, you start regretting everything of your what-ifs. I mean, like, why don't I just go back here and such? And that's pretty much something that a lot of us, you know, think about at the end of the day. You know, whether we get a college education or not and we have our dream and stuff, we have that midlife crisis, whether it is at in your early 20s to your early late 30s to even your 40s where you're like damn why didn't I do this and you're regretting everything in your life or even now where it's like we're looking at what the fuck is going on in the world and how you know looking at prices of everything everything has gone the fuck up and realtors or people who are asking for money for homes and houses and apartments and everything they're asking for two three four times the rent and you know it's super hard for people everyday people to get that money in and sometimes there are people here who just don't know 
where their next paycheck or their next food or just anything is going to come. And this is really, truly hurtful. I mean, like, okay, today, I'll give you an example. Freaking today or really yesterday. Like, okay, so I typically buy um, toilet paper in bulk and such. I used to buy it at Walmart or Target, wherever the fuck I would go. But Amazon... Yeah, I got like 80 rolls for like uh under 50 bucks. That same toilet paper that I like always buy like every three months is now 60 bucks. And I looked at that shit like what's crazy. That my mom was telling me like, oh my god, like now the um the peppermint soap that we used to get, that's now 70 bucks. Look at anything when you're going to the store. Fucking eggs are now like 10 to 12 dollars and such and then you wonder why so many people are having these very breakout breakdown moments and mental breakdowns and such because of what the fuck is going on in the world today and, and then you you're trying to get a really good job that at least pays at least minimum the fucking um the minimum wage and stuff. And then you can't sometimes find those because that's hard. And because everybody's trying to find new jobs and stuff. It, it's... Ugh, it's one of the worst freaking things. And I, I honestly cannot stand for it. I hate it so freaking much. And these are the times that as an adult right now, I kind of wish I was a kid again. Where I didn't have to worry about all these things that I'm worrying about now and such and it's very stressful and this is just adulthood 101 and, and multi-balance and everything and you know trying to make your life better for the worst so always make that first step go to school get your education go out there get that money get your coin get it so that you can always still have a better life. Especially because our parents are always telling us they want us, their offsprings, to have a better life than they did. And that's what my mom truly wants for me. And such, even though I'm fucking hard-headed as hell. But I think that's what I'm also starting to want for myself. Because you never want to be in a moment where you are struggling. And I feel like I can speak for a lot of people that, in a way, we are all in this world struggling right now with everything like i said 12 to 10 to 12 dollars for fucking eggs eggs jesus christ are you freaking kidding me but these two episodes are really good i'm really scared to see how over the heck this next week are gonna go because i don't really want to watch this now because i am truly scared with that preview but we just gotta go through. We can't avoid it. But other than that, guys, that is my next reader with episodes 10 and 11 of Descending Stories. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for the final two episodes of the second. Um, nope. <laughs> the first half of this show. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.